All right, how's it going? So, this video, I think it's going to be a fun one. This is kind of the idea of one of you, and that uh, I had, well, I actually had a couple of you asking me what some of the bulls that we posted uh, as the late hunt was coming up, and in that late hunt video, uh, what we thought they scored, and why we didn't go after them, why we didn't shoot them. And I have some footage from over the years of late bulls and that stuff. And a lot of times that's all we have to judge off of. Somebody will send us footage of a bull or we'll get a little bit of footage and take it to other guys. And uh, it's always fun to sit around and look at them, take them apart, and come up with a number. For me, it's usually, is he a shooter or is he not a shooter? If somebody says, I'm looking for a 330 bull, you know, I, I, I'm pretty good at being able to say, that's a shooter, that's not a shooter. Um, there's not a whole lot of fuzzy there, uh, but it's. I think it's fun to be able to kind of test your skills. So I want this to be interactive. So what I want to do is I'm going to post the footage or the look we got at a bull. In some cases, or I'm going to try and pick ones that I'm fairly confident in. In some cases, these are bulls that we ended up shooting or somebody else ended up shooting. So I got to see them or score them in person. So... I'm pretty confident in the numbers that I'm going to give you. Um, they're not official Buna Crockett scores, but just for what we're going to do here, they'll be close enough. So what I want you to do is I'm going to show you some footage of a bull. I want you to give me your first reaction. Uh, what is your, let's say, let's say that we've set 340. Let's say that we set 340 as our... Uh, Kill size. We're going to shoot a bull over 340. So I want you, as soon as you see the bull and you make a decision, I want you to comment, shooter, not a shooter. Yes, no. Something like that. Okay? And then I want you to type in a score. Quick. A lot of times, this is a good activity. A lot of times, this is the only look you're going to get. A bull's come out of the trees. He's feeding through. You're sitting there with your rifle and a tag in your pocket. And this might be the only time you see that bull. He's in the open for 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 30 seconds, 2 minutes. And you got to decide, is that a shooter, is that not a shooter? You don't want to walk up on a bull thinking he was 330 and have, find out he was 280. Uh, and that's more often than you walk, shoot a bull that you think is 330 and he ends up being 390. That's just not going to happen. But I think this will be a fun activity. Um, I think maybe we'll do a prize, uh, just kind of keep track of, uh, we'll have to let some time go by, but uh, we'll do a prize to see who is the closest with all their guesses. Or maybe just, yeah, we'll do something like that. We'll do something fun. Anyway, so here's, that's what I want you to do. I'm going to post a short video clip. and sometimes, In some cases, it may be just a picture. Maybe all we have is a picture. And just give you a brief period of time to be able to make your decision Make your snap judgment, field judge him. Shooter, not a shooter. He's a 335 bull. He's a 355 bull. He's a 320 bull. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. Get ready. Get ready to type and comment. And uh, we'll see how well you field judge, field judge bulls. Rock rim. Um, His G1s are pretty good. Down the canyon from where you guys yeah, this is a nice bull. But the other one's not broken. What do you want to do, Blake? What's this one, I think? <laughs> this I bull's know. missing is G4. This, this is the bull you had on video. You think so? He's a 350 yeah. bull, that fourth. but he's missing we kind of 15 to 18 inches on that so, fourth. It's your call, but I think we pushed down yeah. that other bull. Yeah. Well, I mean, let me look at him. Sorry. All right, what did you guess? We let him go. Here's the next one. This is a bull that I spotted in the late hunt, and I couldn't even get the hunter to come look at him. I thought this bull was close to 350 in the 340s. What do you think? All right, what did you think? Did you think he was a shooter? I know he went 347 because my buddy Maben let his grandson Rylan shoot that bull. 
This is a bull named Tick that's been watched for a few years. We were pretty far apart on our guesses on him. His beams are high 50s, maybe touching 60. What do you think? Did you have him as a shooter? We let him go. We didn't hunt him. Now this bull is one of the hardest ones. The next two are going to be two of the hardest ones to judge on here. What do you think on this bull? Now I know the score of that bull because I've got a set of sheds off of him. In fact, I've seen two sets and a single off of him. And that bull that year was between 385 and 390. There he is. This bull is tough. This bull is Mr. Tuesday. Got a lot of history with the sheds of this bull. A buddy of mine's got several sets off of him. I have picked up two sets off of him. What do you think he scores? Is he a shooter? That set of sheds right there, I picked him up. He was between 350 and 355. He was smaller than I would have thought from that picture. Now this bull is one that fooled me. I looked at this footage right here coming up, right here. And we didn't really give him a second look until the next time we saw him with another bull that we knew was about 350. So what do you think this bull scores? Here's a pretty good look at him there. I misjudged him. I didn't really even give him a hard look. That bull went right about 350. He was in the low 350s in those videos. That's him. This bull... Somebody saw this bull and told me that there was a 350 bull and told me the location. So I sent the hunter to go get some video of him. And when he sent me this, what do you guys think? Thank Blake for this footage. What do you think on that bull? We did not hunt him. I thought that bull was about 330. Now this bull, I know very well. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll have pretty much... I saw this Lyle bull for exactly two seconds, if Lyle and I ran and told the guy I was with, um, I just saw a bull, he's, he's 370 feet. all day, and, um, and he's going to be close to touching to 380. Um, he hasn't talked to me today. When I showed this video to a bunch of other guys that I trust, they said 360 to 365 maximum. And I said, that's a big bull anyway. So, This moment right here when he rolls his head back and I saw that, I said, I'm killing that bull. This was just some bonus footage off of him. Where do you put that bull? Hello. 
350, what do you think? Ricky's, film, Ricky's filming it right now to send to you. Um, kind of looking right between his horns. Um, like I said, I know what this bull scores. Scores 380 and two eights, and he hangs on my wall. One of the few 380 bulls taken in the late hunt. That's crazy. That's the this it's bull right here, I got to see in person. And we saw video of him, and then I went and looked at him in person. He's pretty consistent. We thought he was a really nice bull, but the hunter yeah, wasn't that excited him. about him. We were pretty confident there. about this bull's score. What is your guess? Our guess was about 345, and we thought he would probably tell that. So this one, you're judging off of a set of sheds. What do you think that bull scores? Beautiful six point. Yeah. Send right on him. All right, well, there we go. How did you do? Like I said, most of those I either saw and scored or have sheds off of. There was a couple that I didn't uh, get to see on the ground because we passed them up. Um, I could have done more, but I thought that would be fun. Kind of have a wide range of bulls in there and uh, different looks and different times to be able to look at them. So, how did you do? How many of them did you get, get within, say, five inches, say, ten inches? Uh, we'll watch the comments and see how everybody's doing. Let me know if you guys like this type of video. I think it'd be kind of, it's a kind of a fun, novel idea. Never seen anything like it, but where you guys get to be interactive with the video, comment is where you're watching it, and uh, and we get to see how you do at the end. Um, I'm just going to do the voiceover now for it so that I can have some commentary during it and you guys can hopefully enjoy it. Let me know. Like and subscribe if you like it. Um, anyway, appreciate you watching. Thanks.